All right, we're running through a quick demo of connecting to KubeCloud data model from a SQL query tool. So first of all, we can see our data model is here in KubeCloud. We've got cubes like orders and products and a view called sales. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to the overview tab and under the SQL API, we can click connect to our BI tool. Uh, that's going to be where we get our SQL connection information. And the way that this works is we are going to input our host port database user and password as a Postgres connection inside of a query tool. So let's head over to uh, Visual Studio. In this case, I'm going to add a database to SQL tools. We're going to choose Postgres because this is a Postgres compatible connection. Connection name I'm going to put in. This is just a friendly name, uh, Tony Demo, because it's connecting to my Demo Cube account. I'm going to connect using the server and port, the server address. Let's go ahead and put in the host name. And for port, that is 5432. For database, got our fun name, Simple Rattlesnake. Username is going to be a cube. And for password, the um, SQL Tools goes ahead and stores this, so it'll ask us for that at runtime here. So we'll go ahead and test this connection to make sure that it works. Successfully connected, great. So we'll save the connection. So if I hadn't already successfully connected to this, it would ask, for, ask me for my password, uh, at which point I would put in the password that is um, hidden here. So now from this um, Postgres connection, we can run a few queries. So remember we have the products table, so we can execute that query and get back some of our products here. Same from our sales view. Uh, we've got all of our sales in here and we can even do the more complicated uh, queries from using our aggregates uh, and even some of these metrics that we've calculated for example uh, city and average orders average uh, order value uh, that one is an automatic grouping so we can go ahead and query just for city in that field and it's gonna automatically aggregate that for us. So this is a quick demo of connecting cube, connecting to cube from SQL tools.